Welcome back to Dragon Age 2 on JDZ Gaming Empire. We just, I guess, defended Seamus here from a bunch of mercenaries, and it was horde, well, I guess not horde, but one group after another group of these mercenaries. So it was a pretty, um, pretty intense fight, but we survived it and no one died. Oh, let's take that off of you now, Anders. And now let's go collect the loot. I don't see anything back to here. Nope. A belt. Hmm. Any more loots? Because that was a lot of fighting. That was a lot of enemies. Don't see any more. Chest up there, but I guess we opened it already. Let's look at this belt. Attack speed. Uh, I like the amulet that we have on already. Let's see if this is somebody else. Yep, you. I think we are good to go. He's got on a Maris amulet. I think that Maris, okay, they're about the same as the same in quality. I'm going to keep that on you. Let's go speak with Seamus and let him know we are ready to take him back to his daddy. I am ready to leave. And you have coin to collect, I'm sure. Uh, we shouldn't need to, yeah, that's good. Let's go, Seamus. Your father will be waiting in the keep. Then take me to him. Father. My son. Oh, he just appeared out of thin air. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, father. Uh, allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Your Excellency. She fulfilled the bounty. You have my gratitude. I hope you encountered no great difficulties on my son's behalf. Huh. No problems to speak of, aside from the crowd that tried to kill us. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with a shard. The Kunari. They are not monsters to be feared. Tell if you would just try to understand, others would see as well. Better that you were thought abducted than to have their influence suspected in my <gasps> own family. Benign or not, it's too much. Mm, I have a few words that I want to say, but I should stay out of it. A little too much insight into the office for me. Your actions are appreciated. The Seneschal will see you out. That is done. We got five sovereigns for it. Seamus was returned to the Viscount unharmed. Next. That's in Hightown, and I need to go to Hightown anyway to um, see if Sanders is in Hightown, because I don't remember where he's at. But let's get out of here. Oh, I saw a chest. Ooh, I was able to open it. That was not all that 
worthy. What is this? Quest updated. Bottled Scar 534 Exalted. A rare collaboration between human and elven inventors. The result is a taste that has been called appropriately tense. Occasionally requested in the low town bazaar, although elves rarely do so openly. Somebody in the lo in low town wants it. Who is this? The Enigma of Kirkwall. The Viscount is suspicious, but the bribe was sufficient to gain access to the restricted section of the archives. The money would have been better spent elsewhere. The archive is being almost devoid of Imperium era records. When the slaves revolted, they hunted magisters and burned the city, at least the parts that could be burned. One account says that the streets were littered with piles of scrolls and books set aflame. Is our quest futile? This, did the slaves destroy the answer? As Malfares' armies toppled the Imperium, they sent three magisters and their legions here. They never arrived. But why march here of all places? What were they coming here for? Behind a panel with curious markings signed, the Band of Three. Interesting. Excuse me, Varric. Excuse me. Oh, there's other lore in here. You're looking well, Sarah. Thank you. The Lorium... The Lomeran Accords. Oh, that's a lot of reading. 50 years. That's how long it took the Imperium to drive out the Canari occupation. But the rest of Northern Theus was not so lucky. Both divines, white and black, declared exalted marches, and for the only time since the schism of the Chantry, they worked together. A century-long siege resulted with the giant Canari entrenched in Antiva in Ravain, and all of Thetis throwing armies against them. The war drained the resources of every nation in Thetis, leaving most on the brink of collapse. For the giants, it did not appear to be the damage to their armada, or the loss of their soldiers, but the terrible toll upon the Ravani population that prompted the retreat. When the third new exalted march had all but massacred the people of Not Ar, without even chipping the Canari occupying force, the giants finally withdrew. The chantry was put an official the chantry that put an official end to the Canari Wars was signed on the politically neutral island of Lamorin off the southern coast of Ravain. 150 years after their assault on the mainland began, the Canari left our shores. They received the northern archipelago in exchange for a cessation of hostilities against all the nations on the Accord. Only Taventer refused to sign. And so, the war continues to rage in the Imperium to the present day. It's worth noting, however, that the Kingdom of Ravain immediately violated the treaty. Twice. Once when the humans of Northern Ravain, nearly all practitioners of the Kuhn, and therefore, by definition, Kunari, refused to leave their homes and go in exile to the islands. And again, when the Ravain, Chantry, and Nationalist forces, unable to convert its people back to the worship of the Maker, tried a purge by the sword slaughtering countless unarmed people and burying them in mass graves. It's a fortunate mystery that the leaders in not are did not alert their allies in the Northern Passage, or we'd still be fighting the giants now. From the Exalted Marches, an examination of Chantry Warfare by Sister Patrine, Chantry Scholar. I remember the Exalted Marches. We go to it in Inquisition. I'm pretty sure it was Inquisition. Oh, that's locked. Ooh, I best not try to open it either. The, the guards are standing there. There's something back there, though. Um, let's see what happens. I did save. I can't do that. Oh, that's it. Okay. Out we go. Peasant. 
The guard will throw you out if you kick that wall. Oh, that's the same same thing you guys have been saying. Let's go to High Town. And it's day, so that's good. Now, am I going to remember where people are at? Where is Sandal? I'm pretty sure Sandal... I think Sandal was here. Oh, goodness me. Where would Sandal be? I know I, serendipity's working tonight. I see the quest marker, but I really would like to find Sandal. Nope, that's a different. Sandal this way? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see. There he is. Hang on, I'll be back, quest giver. Enchantment. What you got in here in the Bowden's goods? Anything good? Well, we could sell him this and this, that. Mm, I better hang on to that. Oh, I better hang on to that. Let's go ahead and sell him this and that too. <laughs> okay, that's a set, so we don't want to sell any of that. And get rid of that. And sell all the junk. Sandal, let me have you see, do some enchanting for me, if you could, please. Do I have any runes? No weapon runes. Oh. Okay, now, how does he only do weapons? I thought I had some equipment, some armor that needed a rune. He doesn't do... Armor runes? Who does armor runes? He just does equipment or weapons rather. Hmm, I'm confused. So we have Bianca and this that both can take uh, runes, but we don't have any weapon runes. Okay. Might have to rectify that. And so I need to find out who can put a rune on our armor. into my hands. I recognize it. I had long since paid my debt over this. It's grand to see it again. You are welcome. Thank you very much. We have 80 sovereigns now. We're we're doing it. We are doing it up. What are we going to do next? Okay, that's in low town. That's dark town. Oh, those are the only two side quests we have. Hmm. That's Low Town, so I guess we'll go to Dark Town and turn this in, and then we'll go to Low Town. Red Blossom Special. Is there an easier way to leave here? Does not look like it. 
Uh, yeah, we could take a left here. Go south. We need to um, see about some runes for our armor. Some of those vendors here in Hightown probably sell some. That's Dark Town. No town. On a great kindness in returning this. You are welcome. Merchandise. Uh, what kind of merchandise? I don't remember. What about over here? Peril. Oh, yeah, that's right. Just myself will do the um, armor. All right, there's nothing there I want or can even use. Armor rune. All right, let's go. What are we doing next? Red Blossom Special, along with this Shepherding Wolves, but let's do this Red Blossom... Special first. Uh, let's take a look. How do we get there going up and around? Should have stayed in the alien edge. I think I found something of yours. Don't wave that around. I mean, thank you for this perfectly normal item. Huh. Obviously, it's not a perfectly normal item. Shepherding Wolves returned to Patrice at her safe house at night in Lowtown to discuss the Canary ambush. Oh yeah, she's the one that had us es do the escorting mission. I think she might be, um, she might not be a good person. Oh, this is in Lowtown. I don't know why I thought both of these quests were in Darktown. Nope, not that way. Uh, this way. What a hole these gems are. Oh, wait a minute. Her safe house at night time. We have to go back, guys. I'm sorry. We got to go back. We have to go back. Here we go. Patrice, 
don't know what you're up to, sister. Leave nothing. It must be clean, with no ties. It... Hawk? It was Hawk, right? From the streets? You took the canary from the city? Without incident? I think the incident was rather your idea. Mm-hmm. Mind your tongue, dwarf. Please, do speak your mind. Don't string me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, I wished you no harm. That might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement, to see the Kunari for the monsters they are. You Perhaps evil witch! finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. Your Katojan killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. Hmm. You risked my life. Perhaps I should return the favor. No doubt you would prove a challenge for my guard, but I will not offer the chance today. Violence here serves no purpose. I accept the grim necessities of standing in the Maker's name, but I will not waste his gifts. You did better than you were asked. I will honor that arrangement. We will have nothing more to do with each other. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the Faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. You are evil. What an evil woman. We'll be hearing from that one again. Very didn't like that for some reason. Oh, wow, that's it? That's the only thing left? The main quest? Okay, he's almost our friend. I'd rather that Fenris didn't like that. That was one evil woman. Well, our home is in low town, but can we get to it? I don't think we can get to it at night. Is it, is it this right here? This, yeah, so let's leave. Gamlin's house. Oh, is this our house? This is our house. Can we get in? Oh yeah, we can. I want to look at I, your servant. There's a letter for you on the desk. Another letter? Oh wow. Okay. Friends in low places. I understand you are in dire need of some coin. If that's true, I believe I have a proposition that you simply will not be able to refuse. Look for me at night near the boundaries in Lowtown. I guess there's nothing that we need to do with this one. The foundries and friends in low places. Okay. Oh, this is a main plot item. Meet Dugal near the foundries in Lowtown at night. Let's put that on. All right, now I want to see about these runes here. How do we put a rune on our weapon? I mean, on our armor. Because we have two runes of protection. Hmm. Poison and grenades. Yeah, I think we have enough money now that we can Buy a couple of these. Let's order that. A couple of those, a couple of these. They were pretty good. Actually, we have enough coin where we can order several. So we'll have five of each. Okay. 
And let's put these down here. What is that? That's the tar bomb. Let's go ahead and remove that. Low town, huh? Well, this doesn't look like a setup or anything. What's up, Dougal? Well, well. Now it's beginning to all make sense. Do I know you? I know him. I thought Bartrand told you to clear off, Dougal. Calm yourself, Varric. I just wanted to meet your brother's new business partner. That remains to be seen. And that's what I need to talk to you about. Dougal's one of my dear brother's ex-partners. Mm. Bartrand turned aside my offer of help, even though I had the coin to spare. Thing is, I still think it's a promising venture. The fool won't let me invest, but if someone like you invested on my behalf... What do you think? Hard to say. Dougal's never done me any harm. See? There you go. Still don't trust you. You're as sour a bastard as my brother without the family connection to make it easier to swallow. Do what you like. I came to you, not to him. But we do need the coin. No, we really don't. But, we, I mean, we could always use coin, but we don't need it. Bartrand was pretty desperate for help. He must have had a good reason to turn you down. He did. We had a disagreement. They tried to kill each other. You've met Bartran, yes? Someone would need the patience of a Bronto not to want to kill him. But what's done is done. Now his pride won't let him take my coin, even if it ruins him. He won't be happy if I do this. He'd lose his mind. Not that it wouldn't be funny to watch. Then why tell him? Bartrand is better off not knowing a lot of things. This way he's happy, you're happy, and I'm happy. We're all happy. Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartrand needs. Bartrand thinks it's your coin. Then when the expedition's done, you pay me back double. Hmm. What if I don't have double? This might all be for nothing. If you really think it's such a waste of coin, why go at all? I think double's the very least I could earn back for this kind of investment, don't you? This seems suspicious. <laughs> I'm taking quite a gamble myself. I'm willing to bet you're a good risk. Bartran obviously thinks so. You care to extend the same courtesy to me? Hmm. <laughs> Why not? I can never resist a shady deal. Marvelous! You tell Bartrand that the coin's on the way. I'll have it delivered to him discreetly. Good luck on your expedition, my friend. We shall meet again. So we're gonna have to pay him double? Well, I mean, we didn't need the coin. What? Where's my main... Oh, there it is. Um... We didn't need the coin, but I wanted to see what he had to say. He didn't give us no coin. What do you think about that, Barry? I think you've got enough coin together to get in on the expedition. We ought to go see my brother. I think you would be right, but I still want to figure out what the devil is up with these. I have that. That's a that's a slot, right? A rune slot that empty blank space there. 
And I'm pretty sure that Sandal is the only one that can do enchantments and add runes. Yeah, see, that one's coming up. Why is... Why can I not put a, a rune on this, on these gloves? I'm really lost on that. I'm going to go, I'm going to check out Sandal again. Maybe I overlooked something. He is in high town. I mean, we have to go to high town anyways to meet up with Varric's brother. Um, okay, this guy has some runes. Okay, that's where you craft them, I believe. Yep. That's an armor rune. And I'm pretty sure we have two runes of protection. Yeah, we do. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Just going to look over everybody's equipment real quick. Health potion, injury kit, um, tomb of technique. Whoa, that's 21. <laughs> it's kind of expensive. Kind of expensive. Um, this stuff doesn't look, yeah, that's weapon and shield, weapon and shield, dagger here. Right. Do it Let's go check over here. I think, mm, no, we don't need to check that because that's strictly mage equipment. Sandal, which way are you? You, okay, you're back over here with um, Varric's brother. Let me. I'm confused. I'm really confused. Um. <laughs> oh, what a dodo! I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Sometimes when you're. You're trying to play, you're trying to commentate, <laughs> making sure everything's running good, you get distracted and not pay attention to things. <laughs> That's my excuse. All right. Did I put it on? Yes. And then very, oh, I could put one on. We don't need one on the shield. Armor. Uh, do I? Oh, that's how I do it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So let's go back here. There we go. Ding, 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 ding. All right. I didn't even notice up here before. I just saw, just saw this over here. I didn't even think to go over this way. All right. So we need to. Find us some weapon runes too. Did, did, him, did your Sandal daddy sell them? Be... Your daddy sell any weapon runes? No. Daddy does not sell any weapon runes. Okay, let's speak with Bartran. Found your mystical horde of coin yet, human? 
Uh, anything here that we need to look at? Okay, we asked that already. The coin should be delivered to you shortly. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? A wizard did it. <laughs> well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one and go. Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks at least. Oh. Let me know as soon as you're ready and we'll head out. Oh, okay. So we just need to talk to him again to head out. Let me look at Fenris. I mean, your armor rating for that is 193. 198, 194. You have 194, 198. Um, he doesn't have the best equipment. The best armor here. We need some some upgrades for this armor for you, dude. Or you need some higher health. Pump everything into health for you. All right, let's go. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. And let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ha! Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover dark spawn from the blight. Big risks, big rewards. Hey, what's our sister doing there? Risks, rewards? What could be better? Exactly. Now, before it... Wait. Who invited the old woman? Hey! I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf. But I need to speak with my children. Mother! I told you not to get involved with this. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Bethany with you? I hadn't decided yet. Mother, I'll be fine. I want to go. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something would happen to you? You, I understand wanting to do this. But leave your sister here, I beg you. It's the Templars or the Darkspawn, Mother. At least I'm allowed to fight Darkspawn. Well, you're not going to be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. Oh. I'll definitely have to take Varric. I'm not taking Bethany. We're taking Anders. I suppose... I suppose we're going to take you, Fenris. Oh, thank the Maker. Are you sure about this, sis? I hope you're not just trying to protect me. Hmm. We can't both go into the deep roads. It's too dangerous. Fair enough. I hope you're right. I hope I'm right too. I definitely don't remember. Personal drama over with. <laughs> now let's get underway. You need to calm down. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await. Okay. No, this can't be right. The champion and her apostate sister came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel <laughs> warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friend did? 
Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me she is innocent. I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. She must have known. Somehow the champion knew what was down there. That's why she wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had, this would have all turned out very differently. Uh-oh. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but we didn't get very far. Well, this is not a good sign. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. Oh! Useless! What am I paying you blighters for? Jeez, man! Shit camp! Good gracious. Huh. <laughs> Problems, brother? Sodding deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Farrakh? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. See? This is why you bring someone like me along. <laughs> we'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine. Fine. Find a way around. Just do it quickly. Now we need to find a way around. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Uh, I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. What? I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. Well, now wait a minute. I remember Sandal in Dragon Age Origins could handle himself quite well. He took on a whole horde of Darkspawn by himself. When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago. I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. One man out there alone. What are his chances? My boy is sturdier than you think. Mm -hmm. If he has one of his enchantments with him, he'll survive. He's burned down a house twice by accident. I'm more worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. We'll bring him back in one piece. Or maybe two. Hard to say, really. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. I think Sandal's going to be move quickly, then. just fine. Very like that. Okay, that's good. Made up for his um, rivalry there. All right, so we need to find Sandal somewhere in the deep roadside passages. Mark that as active. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, well, we don't know if it's reused or not. I guess we'll find out once we start um, going through it. Let's do a quick save here and head on out. Come on, team. Let's go. Oh man, this is bringing back memories. Bringing back some memories. Dragon Age Origins. And we went into the deep roads there. Ooh. Don't fall in that. And we are commencing to fighting. Um, I can't 
cannot mark you. I guess I'll get you instead. Uh-oh. There's a whole bunch of them coming. I see them coming up the road here. Anders, can you like throw a fireball or... Yeah, can you throw that over there? Everybody hold right here. Right now, get on over everybody. Knocking at level 11, I believe. Oops, sorry. Sorry, team. <sighs> Let's do a save. Herlock Bolter. Um, Hang on just a minute. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's go, everybody. Oh, okay. It's a whole bunch of you coming. Back. That's why I missed you. <laughs> Done. Hmm. Is that going to be better for you, um, Fenris? Let's take a look. need to get your strength up yeah we need to really yeah we need that and then he could get plus 23 percent healing plus 82 attack and it has a slot for a rune what is your this needs a strength of 30 yikes oh i don't know that's quite a bit we need, oh, wow. Yeah, that's going to be a minute. So that means two more level ups. As you get three each level, that means I'd have to stack everything in strength and nothing else. Might be worth it, though. It might be worth it. Dark spawn ahead. I can still sense them. Okay. Yeah, that's right. He's a warden. He's got um, dark spawn blood in him. Whew. 
How about we all run back over here and let them come to us? How about that? Uh oh, he got stunned. Okay. Let's have you. Oh no, he's doing his rally. I'm just standing back here. come out here no 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 everybody back over this way get back here Fenris uh oh he's throwing a fireball he is throwing a fireball let's see if we can get ours off before he gets his off okay Then let's have everybody move. Free to move. Everybody attack this thing. Okay, and then we're going to do that on you. Nice work. Very nice work. And we got to level up. Let's go collect the loot. That was pretty good. All right, we have several pathways we could go here. Actually, we can't go that way. It's blocked off. I saw I saw something get lit up over here, but maybe not. What is this down? This looks like a setup. Did I save? Let me save again just in case. Silver right. I feel like this is a trap. That's a nice amulet. Let's see. Everybody leveled up. Nice. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to leave on. Yeah, everybody's going to keep the amulet on that they currently have. Let's go ahead and level up or something happens. Okay, so we're able to open up um, these chests that we weren't able to open up before. But... Let's go ahead and keep pumping into cunning too because that gives us critical damage and our critical chance twin fangs or lacerate that's sustain let's go ahead and get that all right, Varric. Get 
Is critical damage is 60%? Okay. What can we do for Bianca? Archer's Lance. Tear through every enemy along its deadly path. Thank you. Yes, I like the sounds of that. Um, Anders. Let's bump up your willpower. And magic. Okay, and then I said I was going to work on this. Let's get that. And I guess we're going to put some more points into your strength here, buddy. Put everything in there so we can get that up. Um, and that, let's see here. What do we want to do in here? Do that. He's at strength of 28 now, and that weapon. Okay, two more. Okay, I think we're going to end it right here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying my playthrough of Dragon Age 2. And if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.